Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back. It's great to be back. It was a good couple of days off, refreshed, rested, and ready to go, honestly, for EAFC24 and all that is going to come with that. But first, I got to get caught up on this pre-season promo. Got to get up to speed with things we can do right now in FIBA 23 to get some packs for 24. And of course, there's still what I believe a pretty good menu grind, although it's just not quite the same as that last week of footies was. But I see some 99 rated's that I need to add to my squad via SBCs and footies cards back in packs. So I love that, but we're back with a bang today. Let's go. If you guys are excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's uh, first also say that there's going to be two uploads. We're back with a bang on the YouTube channel as well uh, with two uploads going out today. So make sure you watch out for that. But first of all, we got to talk about these cards that are in packs. Yes, we have the 99 Messi, the 99 Ronaldo premium footies. And yes, we've got like the, the shapeshifter icon Pele is in packs right now. Uh, but EA, why are you not giving us lists of cards that are in packs? Messi still has only one page of cards in the market that... Is wild, but EA on the website for preseason I'm seeing doesn't even have a list out. I don't know what's going on with them. Um, and this best of is only in packs for a week. I've got some thoughts about that, and that's kind of interesting. I gotta grind this week though, is the way that I'm feeling. If I want to pack a 99 Ronaldo or Messi and the players that are in packs right now, from what I know, this is the set of players that is in packs at this time. And I'll leave the link this down below in the description. Foot that GG has better info than uh, EA does on their own website. So thank you, Foot that GG, for having us covered here. I'll put this link down below if you want to figure out who is on packs right now. I think there's like 150 or 160 cards. And that, like we said last week before preseason started, that was going to hurt, right? The 85 times 10 grind, the pack grind, the menus, the unlimited recycle. It's still there. It just isn't as good because there's, quite frankly, just not enough cards in packs but like i said i'm not sure what to think about these cards going out of packs on friday and ea's website specifically saying that best of um for these re-releases will feature different players um each week um yeah from previous weeks yeah and obviously this one is going away on friday and they said also on the website that there's going to be new join the club objectives and new carryover rewards each Friday. I mean, we even know what's going to be coming out this Friday, right? It's not that, you know, it's not a mystery. It's not that much of a, okay, what is it going to be? It's it's right here, right? We're going to get an 82 times 10 pack for a join the club too. Um, and then there's going to be, I'm guessing more of these gold Syria Bundesliga, the top five leagues packs are going to be in that join the club objective when it comes out later on. And then the other packs in here that are saying like 82 times 10, that's definitely for FIFA 23 is not an EAFC uh, 24. But anyways, we'll talk a little bit more about those later. The pack grind is still kind of there. I really haven't done too much. Um, and I've opened a couple of 85 times 10s in the companion. And um, okay, that was a pretty good 85 plus player pick. I think that's the 85 plus pick from the new era uh, SBC. And that's what I'm going to talk about next, right? Of course, we're still going to grind all the packs, still going to grind all the SBCs. The 85 times 10 being unlimited repeatable is mint go on ea we've got a crafting upgrade for the Jordi alba which is fantastic it's nice end game content it's kind of just like like we said it's a continuation of footies but of course with the lesser number of cards that are in packs it's still like we said a little bit lesser hyped right i do love the new era i love that you can get fifa 20 uh well, I said it again, man. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to correct myself multiple times. I'm saying FIFA 24. I gotta get used to saying FC 24. But uh, I like the fact that you can do a daily um, SBC for bronzes and get an 85 plus player pick, and then also just get at least a little bit of something to start FC 24. That's nice. I think all of the objectives, as we'll look forward to in a second. Um, I think all the FC 24 stuff that you can grind right now isn't that bad for how much you have to grind, and actually the packs that you get. Not bad. So I'm doing this new era objective. I got to get uh, the last one done later on this week. Uh, I'm going to take Toko Akami just for the duplicate. But um, yeah, I think that grinds decent. Other SBCs, the players. Wow. EA is going all out with the 99s, but I love it. It's the end game. 99 rated Jude Bellingham transfer card. Absolutely nuts. SBC there. Eight squads to do. And again, very craftable with the grind in the menus right now. Of course, the transfer, Real Madrid links. W card there. And then I love the dynamic duo. Love the dynamic duo of Pulisic and Musa. Definitely have to get that done. I love how it says you get a bonus group reward pack as well. 
a tradable 7.5k pack in early September doesn't make me want to do the SBC. It's the players inside of it that make me want to do the SBC right there. So love the player SBCs there. Kim and Jay, decent. Carvalho, decent, right? And then, of course, 99 Thierry Henry. W from EA Sports on that SBC as well. Fantastic. GG's. And then the upgrade SBCs are kind of just the same, right? 93 plus pick, 90 plus pick. The 94 plus pick is... Um, well, there's two 94 plus picks technically. A 94 plus, it's footies only. And then a 94 plus, I believe that is like the Shapeshifter one too, or is that the only one? I thought there was a second 94 plus, like the old one, but I think it's actually just that 94. Just kidding. There is one 94 plus. There's an 84 times 10, which is great. 87 plus player pick. I don't know what in the world is going on with this SBC um, because now it says it expires in six days. But I think it wasn't even supposed to expire yesterday, but EA refreshed it. I don't know. Um, I thought those usually refreshed on Wednesdays. It might have been Tuesdays. But we got to talk about this 86 times 10, man, because this seems crazy. Like, wow, 86 times 10, 92 rated squad is a lot to put in it. And from what I'm seeing from a lot of people, um, this foot bin upvote, downvote percentage, 11% upvote. That is not good. While the 85 times 10 unlimited is a 97% upvote, I think that speaks for itself. Stick to the 85 times 10, guys. Don't touch that 86 times 10. I wouldn't even touch the 82 times 100, really. Um, I would just stick with that 85 times 10 grind and keep cranking that out. I think that is the place to be right now on this game. And that's why I've got it favorited. It's probably going to be one of the only favorited SBCs in this column for me because that's the one to grind to craft everything and get all those player SBCs done so at least the grind is still there i'm actually going to quick sell that toko economy so i can go and open an 85 times 10 because i really haven't opened like any packs i haven't been on the game in the past literally week so maybe we had that kind of like pack luck you know when you haven't been on your fever for a while and you start ripping some packs maybe We'll have some good 85 times 10. So we'll open a couple here real quick just to see. I wish the footies cards walked out, man. I really wish they did. We're going to get... Oh, that's not good. There better be something massive in behind here if that's my face card. World Cup? What? World Cup heroes are in packs? See, look how many golds there are there, bro. That's that's the problem, right? Still okay. Like, you could still probably turn that in for an 88 rated squad and get some stuff done with it. I'm just going to quick sell Garcia for now because I can't be asked. But... I'm going to open one more for the vibes because I have one more, I think. Come on, give me a footies, man. But that's the problem, right? Uh, that's the issue with not as many cards in packs is that you just can't pack as many great things. Is that Harry Kane? Yes, my striker. No longer in my club, but still my striker. Anything else? That's that's more like it, all right? Couple 90 pluses and 95, Jetson 94, and some high-rated dupes. That's going, boom, straight back in uh, to an 85 times 10. Or maybe I'll start crafting Holland, which I haven't finished yet. But... The SBC grind, it's still there, right? What is there to do right now, though, other than chase 99s? That's all, really, is just chase 99s, craft the SBCs, which is not bad, right? It's always fun, like it has been in the past couple of weeks, when you can just sit on the menus and grind packs. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to continue to do that for the end game here um, and enjoy that because it's at least not too bad. Uh, the season progress, which I guess is new to me, not new to you, is just mid. I wish there was some... Um, uh, FC24 stuff that was involved with that. That would have been really cool. And of course, the daily login is here as well. I got to keep doing that. I'm definitely going to be behind. There's a lot of XP in there, but this season is so short anyway. Doesn't really matter too much. Now, again, I want to talk about some of the FC24 stuff that you can do. Guys, I think both of them are worth it. The new era, all you have to do, like I just did, is turn in those... Um, those bronzes that's an easy dub and at the end of this you get a two rare gold players pack a base hero on loan and a coin boost all rewards are untradeable it says except for the coins obviously i think the coin boost uh for five games is it a five game coin boost what does it say in here the new era yeah a thousand coins times five games you're you're turning in 33 bronzes in fifa 23 that you have a club full of anyway for 5,000 coins at the start of FC24, that's a dub. And a two rare gold players pack, like, that's a dub. No gameplay required. You know, obviously, you're going to be playing games at the start of FC24. So that's a W in my book. And then also, guys, these join the club objectives. Don't sleep on this, man. I know that some of you might be like, Nate, I'm not playing this gameplay in September. Like, just go into some squad battles, score in four separate matches. Uh, yeah, it does take, of course, five different leagues. You have four separate matches. It's going to take you 20 games, technically. I don't think you can combine any of these because you have to have seven players from each league to get involved with it. But 
that's a dub, man. Seriously. And I know also the biggest problem with these rewards is their release date, right? It's uh, October 12th. So three weeks after the, the, the game is going to be released. If you're getting early access on September 22nd, which is, wow, super close, um, you won't get these rewards that you're working for right now in FC24 until October 12th, which is a long time. But at least this year, it's a standalone date, and they're not telling us, oh, around this time, you'll get it. They tell us exactly when we're going to get it, which is nice. But still, on October 12th, if you if you hit a gold VVD, right? This is a three rare gold players pack from a specific league. If you had a rare gold VVD, if you had a rare gold, even Saliba at that time, like that's still a great card to have untradeable at the start of the game in your squad. You're just setting yourself up here for a potential W pack pull that could be a high rated gold card from any of these top five leagues that could go straight into your team or be a super sub or maybe at least just be a little bit of extra fodder pumping into your club uh, in the form of a bunch of these packs because we're going to be able to get a decent amount of them. Three rare gold Serie A players pack. You, that's uh, a solid yeah, 15 players right there between all the top five leagues, right? Because you get five packs. And then if we have that same uh, join the club objective again that gives you more of these, I don't know if it's going to. Maybe this is the only one that's going to give you those um, three rear gold players packs. Week 2, 82 times 10. Week 3, 83, 5. And an 84, 3. I don't know if we're going to be able to do more of those to get these three player packs. But they're actually kind of solid. So I would recommend trying to grind these if you can. If there's not much of a gameplay grind that you want to do, at least just go on semi-pro and squad battles. Um, you know, rubber band a little bit and get those done. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have looked at that already. But... Uh, this is just kind of the, of a first for me getting on and seeing all this and yeah, preseason it's, it's just, it's kind of always like this really. That's why I really tried to stress it last week. I was like, guys, preseason promo is really nothing that exciting. It ends up a lot of times being worse than footies. Um, and it definitely, I would say is a little bit worse than footies this time around. It's not horrendous, but, uh, it's, it's a little bit worse because there's just not as many cards and packs right now now that could change again and one thing i want to talk to you guys about is uh the footies cards that went out of packs from team six absolutely exploded i know some people are still trading on this game trying to keep it fresh for the start of fc24 which i rate uh donnarumma went from like 40 50k to 190,000 coins dibala had a massive massive rise as well now if you bought any of these or if you bought it for your team if you still care about your coins or you're trying to get in that market mindset before fc24 be careful with these. It's the only thing that I would shout because if they're going to drop a new re-release of preseason, that probably means that some of the footies cards that are not in packs now, aka Dybala, aka Lucio, Mbappe 99, Lewandowski premium footies 99, who's up like three, 400,000 coins from where he was. Yes, even in September, these guys are going up in price. Uh, wow, 1.7. I would probably, I would probably move those on if you have in a club tradable because yeah, you've seen what's happened to other players that have been re-released once again uh, that have gone down a ton of price. Like Ronaldo's actually on the market now. Um, you know, stuff like that. Joe Gomez down horrendous. I've seen a lot of Di Maria Griezmann's 80k. Like what? He was crazy expensive before. So yeah, of course that stuff you got to be a little bit careful about um, if you care too much about it. And yeah, other than that, I mean, fodder is it even worth talking about fodder because I don't think it's moving too much. Maybe a little bit on the low tier. What are 95s? Um, oh, actually, okay. So the higher rated stuff is actually moving. Okay, that's really interesting. With less stuff in packs and some of the stuff going out of packs, Modric has exploded. Yeah, remember he was like 23,000 coins. He's 40,000 coins now for some of this higher rated stuff. Lewa was the cheapest, 97. Martial, 37K. So some of the tops here has actually moved up in price. GG's, uh, if you guys have any of that or invested in any of that. But that's kind of the state of this game. Now, what's going to happen today, Wednesday, right? Obviously, the daily content is not like a huge thing. It's more like, all right, we log on FIFA today, do our you know daily login SBC, do a couple 8510s, see if anything else dropped in terms of player SBCs that I could grind. I'm hoping they drop a showdown today. I'm really hoping they drop a showdown. I missed the first one uh, between Declan Rice and Mason Mount, I think is who it was. I'm really, really hoping they drop another one today because I would love, absolutely love to grind another showdown. And we do have international break that is about to be uh, here. Wow, I packed a Vandersar. I didn't even notice that. That's actually kind of crazy. Um, international break we have coming up right now. So 
maybe EA would go um, and, and kind of focus on a game that's going to be happening as a part of inter international break. And they could drop us a showdown for that. I hope they do. Love the showdown cards. Love the transfer cards. Just love the player SBCs in general that give us, you know, new faces at new clubs and stuff like that. As you can see, my club goes from straight to 85 rated down to 79s because uh, there's no store packs in the store. I just noticed as well, no 400k packs for me to replenish my club, which is a little bit unfortunate in my opinion as well. Let's drop the rating here really quick from this. Let's go Cheeky Keller Navas to a Tadic. Sule in for Cruz, and we are still at the rating. Can I save that? I can. Wow. All right. Well, I have duplicates to deal with. I know I just turned in VDS, but it is what it is. It's the end game. Um, and yeah, I don't know why the 400k pack is not at least still there. That'd be a fun way to at least try to pack the 99 rated cards that are out right now as well. I think EA is missing a little bit of uh, the boat there, honestly. But it is what it is. And I need to turn in a few of these cards still for another 85 times 10. But yeah, guys, today content-wise, I don't really know what to expect other than just the player SBC. It's more just kind of the same grind, getting on every day, get the SBCs done that you want to get done, get a little bit of gameplay in. I'm still trying to play a few tournaments here or there um, just to try to get the FP. I won that one tournament like a week ago, and I haven't seen the FIFA points show up for it yet. So I don't know what's going on there, but those tournaments are sweaty, and they're very, very glitchy, and a lot of people like cheating them, honestly. But besides the point... Uh, one thing I do want to point out to you guys in terms of FC24 nudes, which we're going to be covering a lot of really, really soon, is a lot of leaks and a lot of info has been coming out. It's been a little quiet on EA's end. It's been more, you know, exciting for the leaks and the stuff like that. We're going to have another video today looking at some stuff about EA FC24. I think we're also going to get some news from EA. I mean, we know a lot of ratings because they've been leaked and posted. Um, I think EA is going to start announcing ratings here very, very soon as well. Uh, but it's going to be a little bit underwhelming, right? Because we kind of already know them from the leaks. So watch out for that today. But they posted that video of Holland uh, yesterday. So maybe something is coming today on Wednesday. But if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream today. I'm excited to get back to grinding. Got to pack those 99s. Got to chase them all. Got to collect them all. That's sort of grind right now on this game. So again, guys, seeing the stream today, that link's down below in the description too. It's been Nathan from Accountant. It's good to see you again. Peace.